In this video, I'll be exploring a visual named as Word Cloud. So I'm in my Power BI desktop interface. I will create a new page. And from here, I will just rename this page and call it Word Cloud. Now let, let's explore this visual, Word Cloud. So how do you get that visual? So it is not by default available in the visualization pane. So you need to click on these three dots to so get more visuals. And from here, uh, in the search bar, you need to type in Word Cloud. So there are a couple of visuals related to Word Cloud. So as you see over here, we have one visual from Truvis INC. And then there's a one from Microsoft Corporation. So basically, it creates a fun visual from the frequent text in your data. So let's add this visual. So I'm clicking on it. And then uh, it will open the visual. And then I, I will have an ability to add that into my Power BI desktop. Now I can download the sample as well and I can add. So what I'll do is like two things. One is add will add this visual to the Power BI desktop and download sample will download the sample PPX file. So we'll do both things. So I'll click on download sample. Let's say sample file is being downloaded. So it will open this word cloud, which we are going to open it in a while. Uh, but I'll just click on OK, I'll click on add, and <clears throat> I should be able to uh, add that visual over here. So as you see the message, the visual was successfully imported into this report. So this is a visual, Word Cloud 2.3.4.0. So what kind of data is required for Word Cloud? So why do we need actually this Word Cloud visual? So first thing, uh, I have a table over here, which is product review sample. So it has got a review code, review ID, and review. So basically, it's a review of the product. So like how you have Google reviews, right? So similarly, we have this uh, custom reviews for uh, a sample data set. Now, as you see over here, there's a review code, there is a review ID, and these are the reviews, okay? So these are the list of reviews. It is in a sentence, it is in a word format. Uh, what I need to do is like, I just need to play around with the review. Now, as you see over here, I will do some transformation because this column has a review colon. Uh, in the start, right? So I have an option. What uh, I can do is I can go into transform data and pick up the review column and then say, I do not want, uh, or maybe I'll just say split from review colon, and then it will start uh, fixing up those information, right? Uh, now, there are things which we can do, uh, but I'm not going to attempt that. Now, as you see over here, uh, I get some error. It's a could not part, find part of the path uh, sample.xlsx uh, because I've just removed that from the from a backend uh, folder structure and I've removed that file completely. Uh, but in case if you want to edit uh, any column, what you can do is like you can go into that specific table. So this is that table product review sample. Uh, and then from here, you can select the source. Uh, here you can change the type. Now this product review sample uh, .csv uh, this path, when I have downloaded, I just kept it in this folder, but then I changed the path and that's why it is giving me this error. But then in your case, if you take that data file, uh, you can point it to the correct location and then you can go ahead and change that column, right? So let me close this. Uh, and you can get this sort of a structure, right? Now, this is a review text. What if I add a table visual? and just add review code and reviews. So this is how the review will look like. But then I I just want to analyze what kind of reviews has been uh, given by different set of customers, right? It's very tedious to look into the text component and then understand the sentiments, understand what product are they talking about, understand what are the reviews which uh, <clears throat> have been given. So in order to analyze that, I have something called as a word cloud. So we have added this word cloud. So let's add this word cloud visual over here. Now, once you add that word cloud visual over here, it will ask for category and values. Okay, so if I put values over here, and if I put this reviews in the category, so it will start putting those uh, in the word cloud. Now I can remove the values from here. So if I remove the value from here, uh, and I can uh, just rely on the category column. Uh, if I have uh, other things to uh, segregate, as I do not have that proper data set, I will just make use of category. Now, let me get rid of this table. 
and let me expand this visual so this is how the visual will look like and it will say that review is the word which has been used most frequently okay but that's not what we want right because we know it is a review right uh, so what are the things we can do we can exclude some terms from here so if we have a data set uh, we can exclude the term uh, and add that data fields over here so that it will filter out all the words from here which is not uh, which doesn't make sense right uh, what are the other options so here we have the filters and slices here we can expand this review uh, now let's do one thing let's go into <clears throat> the format visual section okay so in the format visual section uh, i have this top verses on okay so what if i turn off this so if i turn off the stop word let's see what happens in this visual over here so it has turned off all the stop words uh, i have an option to rotate the text now this is rotate text is on and max angle is 2 maximum number of orientation is 2 now if i put a maximum angle as 99 see it thinks moved right let me make it 150 so if you see this has uh, put the orientation of 150 with a max angle of 180 uh, so similarly i can you know like play around with how i want that visual to be placed uh, then i have pre-estimate words so quality is at 40 percent so if i enable this functionality pre-estimate words it will basically start uh improvising on the result set which has been uh, set so if i put the quality as say maybe i just want 70 percent quality okay and if i click on this visual and if i just say pre-estimate words to be turned on and maybe let's make it say 90 percent and i'll say uh stop words which was turned off i can make it turn on or off and I can even play around with the data colors. So if I just click on show all, it, it will put, you know, for all the text over here, you see here, the keyword uh, review and the product. Now I don't want and the product in my set, right? So for that, I will stop words on. And if you see over here, these are the various stop words and the, all those things. Now I'll say default stop words, okay? I turn this on and as you see over here, if I turn this on, watch what happens. Now you see and over here, A and D, at, if I turn this on, those all things will disappear and this makes really sense because there is something called as uh, Amazon or battery or best or product or Apple good, so those kind of thing. Now, what if i want to remove some word right so if i just type in review so review is gone if you see from here uh, always you know i can remove that so let me just put a comma and always is gone now we have number three number four number six so i don't want all these things so i can go ahead and filter it out okay so this is like a kind of a manual thing but then you can create your own data set and then you can filter those values just by looking into the visual uh, what are the other things like there is something called as 90 and second so i can just go ahead and filter that out so you can make that thing manual and then this is how your word will get generated right uh, you can again i mentioned to you you can play around with the quality this is 90 percent quality you can make it 10 percent quality uh, uh, you can pre-estimate uh, words uh, and you can rotate the text depending on uh, how you want the visual to be placed. Uh, from the data color perspective, now as you see over here, those at and all those things are gone. But if you want to again check what are the things which is getting reviewed over here, uh, we see review. Uh, then we have now T, uh, like now T4, number four. So let me come here. Now T four and there's number two as well. So I'll just play around with the number two. So number two is also gone. And then if you want to further analyze, you can just go ahead and 
uh, just look into the other keyword value which is getting picked from here and uh, you can accordingly use that as a like a stop words so you can put the default stop words as on and uh, any other custom stop words uh, you just need to specify with a comma separated value so this is how you can basically review a text and then just by looking into this uh, text you can just you, you can just say that oh, what are the things people are commenting on and then you can also do uh, some comparison just by looking into the text as well now this is the file word cloud pbx file which i downloaded from the uh, visual store uh, now as you see over here this is a simple uh, sheet this is an option sheet there's an article sheet and a hint sheet now here what uh, microsoft has provided us with some samples so if i just want to show you what the data source is all about so if i click on new page uh, and let me add a table so there will be a couple of tables over here. So there is an article table uh, and then there is a simple table. So in article, we have a sentence right here. And then I have an, another table which has uh, words and values. So, so there is a word and there's a value over here. Now you can use like this. Uh, so uh, in the previous data set, which I showed you, it just had uh, the reviews. Now here I have sentences and then words and values. Now, how do we use this? Okay, so if you go to simple sheet over here and if I just select on the first option, now it is showing me Power BI Microsoft SQL. Here it says word breaking is on, no value field provided. Here word breaking is off, no value field provided. Here word breaking is on, okay? Now when you say word breaking is on, means as you see over here, Microsoft Power BI SQL here, microsoft power bi and here you will see uh, power bi sql microsoft power bi now from this table you will see that microsoft value is 100 power bi is 50 power bi is 25 and sql is 75 so microsoft has that highest number then power bi and then microsoft power bi and then power bi and then sql now if you see the sentences over here now if i just expand this and then you see that the comments which has come over here is like the picture is worth a thousand words check out this video to see this in action if none provided simply use frequency so these are like some of uh text which is there in the review so some has some people have written power bi some people have written uh microsoft power bi some people have written uh, power bi report so all these things are like in the form of a sentence uh, way right so how do we get uh into this visual so if i just click on the word visual over here and if i just uh put the sentences in the category then this is what we have got you know in the example which i just showed you so this is how it will look like but i didn't show you one option which is if you go into the visual over here under general if you go to general it says minimum number of rep max number of words minimum font size maximum font size word breaking is on now if i put the word breaking as off see what happens that means it will just take the entire sentence and paste it but that's not what we want we want the word to be splitted right so we want to analyze each and every word is that's part of the sentence so that means word breaking is on it will give you this record now minimum number of word is one maximum number of words is 200 so let's say if i make this value as say 10 then it will only pick up the 10 word, the top 10 word. Now that includes article, that includes uh, all those noisy words. Now, just by analyzing this information, you will come to know that uh, we can uh, have control over the content as well. So if I put it as 100, it will list down all the 100 things. Now, special characters. So let me give you an example. If I put a maximum number as words as 10, and if I turn on the special characters and if i turn off now as you see over here uh it has again changed the visual over here right similarly if i just make it again 200 and then list down everything at the maximum word is like a word the two etc now in order to uh, turn that off we need to use stop words and turn on the default stop word and then these all words will go with the or 
uh, at a and etc and now this is a word which we want like the word cloud text power uh, and then again we can filter out depending on our requirement and rotate the text which i have already covered in my previous segment now here uh, word breaking is on value field provided uh, no value field provided here word breaking is off so word breaking is off and then value field is uh, no value field provided but here we have word breaking off and the value field provided is of value now as i explained to you what is value value is basically the value column is 100 50 25 etc so that means we can define the actual frequency of the word okay and then accordingly it will uh, uh, put the the emphasis on that specific word now microsoft has the value hundreds that's why it's showing it in bigger font uh, and then microsoft power bi is 50 and then power bi and then sql so we have an option to control that so word breaking is on value field is set uh, similarly if we go to options over here this is an example of rotation possible angles between 0 and 180 this is between minus 90 and 90 and then if you see here default stop words are on and once the default stop words are on then you will not be able to see a and the etc so this is how you basically use the sample data set uh, there are other things which you can uh, use through this visual uh, uh, by combining it with other visual just by finding the sentiments if you want to find out uh, the values uh, as good or bad or worst or uh, any other which defines a sentiment like the text regret you know uh, then you will be able to find that as well so that's it folks this is how you basically use the word cloud visual in short thanks for watching